In this video, I'd like to show you two ways in which you can work with Final Cut Pro libraries on Evo Shared Storage. First, I'll use an Evo volume shared via NFS. First thing I'm going to do is mount the NFS volume via our Share Browser software on my iMac. Okay, with the NFS volume mounted, I'm going to lock and open this Final Cut library from within our Share Browser software. Okay, I've opened up the library 001 underscore SNS on my iMac. The next thing I'm going to do is switch to my MacBook here. I'm going to mount this same Evo NFS share on my MacBook, and then I'm going to try and open the same Final Cut library. Okay, I've mounted the NFS volume, and if you'll notice here, it shows a closed padlock icon with the username SNS, which is the share browser username on my iMac that already has this Final Cut library open. So I'm going to go ahead and try and open the same library on my MacBook now. Okay, and as expected, when I try and open it on my MacBook, I'll receive this message because this library has been locked by share browser on my iMac. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you here is I'm going to mount up an SMB volume uh, that is shared out via Evo on my iMac. Okay, and I've got this mounted up. Now I'm going to open the 005 underscore SNS library. Okay, so on my iMac, I've opened up 005 underscore SNS. Now the next thing I'm going to do is switch to my MacBook. I'm going to mount up the same SMB network share from my Evo. And I'm going to navigate to a subdirectory here, and I'm going to try and open the same uh, library within Final Cut. Now when it opens, I'm going to receive an error message. This is going to be a Final Cut error message telling me that this library is already in use by the user admin on my iMac. This concludes our presentation. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us on the web at www.studionetworksolutions.com.